sound like a voice. Josh. Josh. You there? Josh. Hello. Whatever is there is not good. It got so bad there at the end. It was just too much for all of us to take, so we just left. Whatever is there is definitely feeds off of people. You'll feel it yourself. It's very nauseating, very negative feeling. It, it's it's pretty, pretty crazy. I won't go back in the house itself. It's just like the minute you step on the property, you feel it. Take every precaution to uh, protect yourself. Make sure you're in a good frame of mind when you go somewhere like that and don't let your guard down. It's one of the scariest ones I think that we've actually encountered. I felt like this needed some special attention to be honest with you. You guys have helped a lot of people so just be safe going in. Don't let your guard down. Do your thing. You guys know how to pull this stuff out. I feel like there's something dark there that could be harmful if it hasn't harmed people already there. I had felt somebody push me, and I fell down the steps and broke my right foot. Nobody was up there with me. Walking upstairs, I've heard people talking in the house that aren't there. A few of us have seen a lady standing in this front window here. Here lately, the house has been more active. He woke up and had a dark-skinned gentleman choking him, but I definitely think there's something in that house. They just said they won't come back. They couldn't deal with whatever it was. They couldn't handle it. My aunt was laying in her bed. You could hear and see like just demonic things coming out. You could hear something about Christ in there. There was definitely something in my aunt, definitely. She would tell us that, you know, people were talking to her. She would talk to people. There was one day where she tried to choke both her sisters something in her that was doing that, possessing her to do that. There was definitely something there with her, her last few weeks. Before we moved here, the lady got stabbed over there and kind of crawled her way over here and passed on the porch. My aunt passed maybe six months after we moved here, the age of 26. There was something about the house that she didn't like. We don't know what's in there. Kind of scared, boxing up and leaving. But you're at the point where is it gonna hurt you or not, you know? We don't know at this point. Well, the reason I reached out and thought that there was something really strange going on in, in this house was when I was here caring for my sister who's now passed, I was actually taking some recordings of her while she was sleeping because I wasn't quite sure what was going on with her. A few days later, after she had passed, I went back through the videos and was just, you know, looking at some things. And all of a sudden, you could hear the change in the tone of the video. Then I heard this, it was a man's voice. And then you could hear like this, this really strange, to me sound like serpent sounds. Finished the, the verse or whatever he was saying with in Christ. It was just scared me half to death. I mean, I've never heard anything in my entire life that sounded like that. And that's when I knew after trying to go through some more videos that this voice was still on those videos. So we ended up contacting a church and they suggested that I delete all of those videos from my phone and I did. First thing I experienced and knew something was not right about this house, I felt very uneasy after that. We were in the living room here and all of a sudden we heard three knocks on the door. We wait and we look around, we think, we think who's here at this time of night? There's no one else that could possibly come over. So we heard it again, three knocks, knock, knock, knock. And we go and we check the back door and there's there's no one here. And the knocking is definitely something we hear a lot in this house, the banging around, the knocking, the footsteps. You know, it sounds like someone's going up and down the stairs. Since I've been here, I definitely feel uneasy in, in this house. And I know there's definitely something in here. And I hope that you guys can help us find out if it's safe, you know, for us to be here, for any other family to be here. My sister who was passing, she grabbed my sister and, and, and said, you're next. So we weren't sure if that was just a message for my sister that you need to get out or, or what she was trying to tell us, if she even knew at that time what she was talking about. Never would think anyone would bring that type of things, you know, that, that type of stuff in this house because there are Christian women that lived in this house their entire lives. And that's not something we, we, we play with at all, but it's, it's concerning.
that family members would you know, bring that into this house. Very concerning. There was a Ouija board brought into this home at some point in time when the, when the youngsters were living here, so she was experimenting with that upstairs as well. Honestly, I try to stay out of here as much as possible. I don't think I've spent the night here since my sister has passed. Sometimes when I'm, when I'm listening to the cameras that are here, I hear really strange things that you wouldn't think would be hearing in, in the neighborhood. You can hear knocking and just all kinds of noises. It sound, sounds like it's coming from the house. What I heard wasn't my sister speaking to God. We said, who are you talking to? She said, I'm talking to Danny Phillips. He's really nice. I said, well, who is he? He's the night supervisor. Of course, I try to do research. I have no clue who he is, but she certainly knew his name, and we've never heard of his name before, but she said his name was Danny Phillips. I was laying on the end of the bed just taking a nap, and I kind of just woke up a little bit, and when I did, I seen like a, like a African-American man walk by, and he walked into the, he walked into the bathroom right there. I came outside and talked to my aunt, and she said there was nobody here. That, that was when it all really started with me. Since then, I've seen, I've seen faces in the back window of the house. I'd be out back working on my cars or something and just look up and see a face. It's just a creepy feeling all through the house. I've always had that feeling. There's definitely something here. That's more than one thing here. When my aunt passed away, the 26-year-old, we locked the whole back of the house off. Two of the members of the team actually got sick and had to walk outside of the property. One was shaking real bad. The other one was having trouble breathing. I gave them something to drink. Yeah, they got, they got creeped out pretty bad. They got creeped out really bad. They definitely believe that something's here. The Ouija board was actually played with in the room that's the worst room in the house. The demonic books, I, I hadn't personally seen them myself, but I've heard about them. And I heard about a picture of a devil or something up there. I didn't even know nothing about that. I don't think they knew what they was doing and they've done something bad. A little girl had come from over here next door and she had walked around the back porch and couldn't get nobody to, something was wrong with her. I don't know exactly what, like she'd been hurt. And she came back around front when she did, she passed away on the front porch. And before my aunt passed away recently, she kept asking about the kids running up and down the steps. A cousin of mine came from Texas recently before my aunt passed away to be here with her. And he was actually laying in a room upstairs. He was laying up there on the bed. He opened his eyes and that the black man was choking him. He jumped up and ran downstairs and ran out the back door. Okay, so we just wrapped up the interviews, getting ready to get the house all set up to investigate. I'll tell you, walking in this house, it's pretty creepy. Upstairs especially. So this is the second floor. We've got alarms up here as well. Definitely this room, you get a real heavy feeling. My name's Josh. My two brothers and I are gonna be inside the house with you tonight. I wanted to come in by myself and make myself known to you and let you know that we mean you no harm. We just wanna figure out why you're here and why you may be messing with this family. Yeah, this room is definitely hard to breathe. They say that they see a man inside this house and possibly a child. Can you please give me a sign and let me know if you're in here? Definitely the upstairs has a very ominous, heavy feeling to it. Are you in that other room behind me? Once the sun goes down and it gets dark, this place is going to be like super creepy.
Can you hit something louder for me? If you are here, we're going to bring in a bunch of equipment tonight that will help you communicate. So if you have a message that you want to share with the family, we can do that for you. That was loud. That's like a kid's scream. But yeah, the second floor, and then downstairs where the bed is, where the sister was supposedly possessed, is very creepy. And earlier when Sean and I set the alarm up on that bed, it kept going off over and over. Something moved. Did you knock in here? Were you knocking in this room? See, this room's not quite as heavy as the one over there. So I'm curious when Rocky and Sean come up here, if they sense something in that. Okay, we're going to be back a little bit later when it gets dark out. And then you can talk to us, okay? Up here is where they found that demonic book. I've got to look at the book some more, but it's like they were... It talks about how to summons demons. And once you have the demon in your presence, how to feed it. So it sounds like somebody definitely did some crazy stuff. And they, I know they played with Ouija boards up here. But just talking with the family, I feel like they opened something inside this house. And it's really destroyed a lot of lives. And hopefully tonight we can get to the bottom of that. We were trying to get in here and set up stuff. And everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. It was like an energy was pulsing through the entire house. As we were all sitting down, we heard footsteps upstairs. Um, sounded like things moving in the kitchen. Just this really foreboding feeling of just something dark just hovering. I've heard several stories about people that have died here. A woman crawled from over here down the road and like died on this front doorstep. The house is drawing people in like that. To me, it feels like, and I, I hate to say this, but like something is collecting souls here. It doesn't want you here. It's gonna let you know physically, it'll affect you. Mentally, it'll affect you. The confusion here that night was just, it was mayhem here. That night, there was just so much going on all at one time. It was just, we saw several shadows in the house. I was frantic on the way home. I mean, it took a long time for us to get away from here before I actually felt normal again. It was almost as if it was like chasing us out. It just felt like you gotta go, you can't stay here. Once this person entered the door, it was like all hell broke loose inside. The way me and other investigators were affected, I just, I don't think I can handle that, that type of uh, situation. Whatever's in here is not stupid. It's not dumb and it knows your weaknesses. I wouldn't come back for another investigation. 
I didn't want to go back because of what was here I felt like was threatening and we told them until we figure out what's going on I didn't recommend anybody go inside for fear that they might be harmed or affected in some way as well. I think it's a soul collector. I really do. I, I honestly feel like with all the death that's happened in this house, for some reason, it's like drawed in people that were on the brink of death and for what reason, but yeah, now that it's getting darker and it's knowing what's inside, it's very scary. I think the upstairs holds the most power. Whatever is here, it, it definitely resides in the upper floors. That room has such a heaviness to it. It's really hard to breathe. They know what's going on with the house. They know something. I don't think this is family members haunting this house. I think it's something that was either brought here or conjured up here. Okay, so we're in the house now. Just behind her. You just hear that? Yeah. It's walking upstairs. We literally just shut the lights off. Are you upstairs right now? You remember me? I spoke to you earlier. back towards that kitchen. Are you back here in the kitchen? We sound like running upstairs. That's the REM pot on the stairs. Can you tell us what your name is, please? This is Rocky and Sean. I told you they were going to come back in here with me tonight. Do you not like the family that's here? We're here to talk to you tonight. We know that you've been scaring this family and that you've scared other teams to come in here. And tonight we came here to help you leave, or to make you leave, whichever way you want it. We know that she has seen you back in this bedroom. The room fell on the stairs. Whoever's inside this house, Whatever's inside this house, I command you to come forward and make yourself known. What the fuck was that? Did you hear it talking? Mm-hmm. You hear it? We can hear you. We're not going to be afraid of you like the other people were. I keep hearing walking upstairs. Or wood or something. Are there children inside this house? What the hell is that? That was freaking louder. Something there somewhere. Behind Sean. So we've literally got this entire house like littered with alarms and cameras. Earlier tonight when Sean and I were setting up equipment, this alarm on this bed where her sister was supposedly possessed was going off. And this is the same bed where the other team had their crucifix fly off the bed. I had my crucifix on the bed and when she started pulling out holy water, my crucifix was over to the side across the room. Did you possess somebody that was inside this house? Give us a sign.
creepy standing over here by yourself. Thank you. Feels like my heart, like, yeah, sometimes your heart will, like, flutter. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Are you trying to affect us? I feel like a wobbly flying. Mm -hmm. Like my legs are weak. That's why I had to grab hold of this railing because I feel like I, I was about to fall back over. And forth, you know? Since we pulled up on this property, yeah, like when you go up um, in the mountains, it feels like your ears need to pop. Yeah. That's what I felt like all day here. You guys just hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Come out here with us. Are you demonic? So let me see that for a second. We got alarms set up through this whole house. If you go up to one of them, you'll set it off just like you've been doing on the steps. Can you do that for me right now? Let me know that you're here with me. Oh. We're in pot, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It's on the steps. Can you walk over towards the bed? Oh, everything's going off. If you go sit on the bed, the bed will start making noises. And some reason I just got like cold chills all like on my whole left side. You hear that thud, Josh? Mm-mm. Sounds like a loud thud. Sound like it's back there, but it sounds like it's upstairs. Right there, hear it? Who's walking? Go upstairs. Mm hmm. Sound like something dying back there. Like right there. You can smell it when you walk through. Mm-hmm. Sounds like rot, like rotten meat. I'm gonna come upstairs, okay? If you don't want me up there, set one of them alarms off. Here I come. Now you can sit here and tell, I just walked right by that REM pod and it did not go off, not once. What'd you hear? I heard like a screaming. This is right here's the room where they found the book about, that was about demons and stuff, right, Josh? Oh, I just heard a kid's voice. Is there a kid up here? I got this music box. Do you like music? It's a room pod. If you're on the steps, come up here, please. Give me a sign if you're up here. You can come touch one of us if you want, just to let us know that you're here. Are you a family member? It's kind of weird how you can hear almost like faint voices in the background. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that. Let's go to that other room. Here in a little bit, I got another device that you can talk through to. Give me a sign and I'll turn that on so you can talk to me better. What do you think about having three guys in here? It feels like it's real hard to breathe up here. It's like hard to get your breath. It's like you're sucking for oxygen. Okay, a device here you can talk through if you come up here. Where am I? You're in a world that we're trying to learn about. 
Can you tell me about it? Can you tell me what you're you're seeing right now? When I look, I see my two brothers. What do you see? Okay. Are you alone? Dark. Yeah. yeah. Was that you? Of course, I'm just pushed on this phone. That was so freaking weird. It's like you could feel. Holy. Are you setting that off for me finally? Thank you. Remember, you can use this device. You can say yes or no. How are you? I'm doing good. Like behind me. Is there somebody behind Rocky? Sounds like I'm hearing talking. I just can't make it out. Yeah, you hear real faint voices. Yeah. Are we in the wrong room to talk to you? Feels soon. Like soon. So you're not ready to talk to us yet? But it almost feels like we're not. Not. It's night. We don't care if they're intimidated. No. Something just moved. I, I had a, when you, did you hear it? Right before you said that, there was like a whiff of cold wind that went right by me. It wasn't like a cold spot or anything. It was just like a whiff of cold air. Yeah. Sound like something like scruffed the carpet. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, walking across, dragging their feet across the carpet. For whatever reason, they've had experiences in this room, more experience in this part of the upstairs. But to me, this room feels lighter than that room over there. Most of them feel... I feel uneasy in them. This is the one where they found that book and she was staying in this room. In this room right here, they found a book on demons. Disrespectful. We're not being disrespectful. We're here to try to figure out why the hell you're inside this house. Josh, maybe they're saying the book was disrespectful. Maybe whoever had the book was disrespectful. Did somebody conjure you up and invite you inside this house? Other people have been nice to you. We're not going to be nice. Are you here collecting souls? If you possess somebody inside this house... You need to come forward and let us see you or hear you. Sarah. Sarah. Um, That's the owner of the house. Yeah. Do you know Sarah? Sarah does not want you here. What do you want with this family? They said that they hear you running on these steps. I don't think you're a child. Did you live inside this house? You, you know how like you uh, hear like chopper blades? That's what my ear sounds like it's doing. My left ear, it's like going, dun, 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 dun. it's like I got a heartbeat in my ear. Mm -hmm. Possessed. <gasps> no Holy way. Shit. Are you trying to possess Rocky? You can't possess Rocky. Sarah. 
soon. Why do you keep saying soon? Are you going to do something soon? We know that somebody did something bad inside this house. We know that they've played with Ouija boards inside this house. And tonight we're going to make you leave. We have holy water and we have a crucifix. And we know that that upsets you. Maybe. Do you want us to get it out? You know what's crazy is when we went back upstairs, that REM pod went off what, once? Yeah. Oh, that alarm's going off. That wasn't even that close to it. Did you possess somebody that was inside this, on this bed right here? Be quiet. You know what I was about ready to say? You're being awful quiet. Like literally, I was about ready to say that. That's crazy. Are you able to read our minds? Psychic. No. Whoa. Oh my God. We're not going to leave you alone. We're here to get rid of you. Do you want to cross over and get out of this house? Yeah, the voices are so faint. I can't tell if it's like a female or a child. Leave me alone. We're not leaving you alone. I already told you that. You don't get to decide what we do. You can't control us. Sean, do you want to take that camera and go upstairs and rock it out of the You being in here by yourself makes you more vulnerable. Hey, I'm upstairs. Rocky and Josh went outside. Can you give me a sign? Let me know you're here. Was you part of the family? Yeah. Did you plug it in? Yeah. I don't know if there's any electric up here. There's got to be electric up there somewhere. This is scary. I'm not thinking straight. There yeah, I are. see. Yeah. Break here in up here by yourself in the dark. Oh, I just heard a thumb. Okay, well, good luck by yourself. Can you see me? Yeah, we can see you. Josh mentioned about the demon book that was up here. You didn't seem like you liked that very much. Can you tell me why? Sean watched this corner. It's too clean now. I armor all that. Okay, we'll get aggressive with it. I can't with you guys keep talking. Lower? What do you mean, lower? You want me downstairs? Well, I'm staying up here. Do you know Jesus loves you? No way! Leave this house! Holy Are you gonna make me? Is that the wrong thing to say? Can you hear it coming across there or is it just words? It's really low. But as soon as I said that, it said, leave this house. Give me a sign, let me know where you're at. <sighs> Josh, other bedroom. Knocking. Or walking, one of the frickin' two. Tell me what your name is, because it's not Julie. <sighs> it's in the other frickin' room. I'm like 
freak my whole body shake out like I'm scared to move right now. Are you the one that was trying to hurt Rocky? You know, you can't hurt him. You can't hurt nobody. Oh! Alarm on the steps going off. Dude, the walking in here is nuts. I'm telling you, something is freaking walking. Oh, sh! It's getting closer. Oh, sh! You cannot hurt me! There's nothing you can do to me to hurt me. Now tell me your name. Oh, man. Something's banging in the van. Are you serious? Mm hmm. Like, hit the window real hard. Apologize. <gasps> apologized. They said apologize. What do I do? Go out and sit with Rocky and Josh? I don't know. Can you tell me why you're here? Did you hurt somebody? Are you out there with Rocky and Josh? Thank you for apologizing. She really didn't do anything wrong. That I know of. The family's just scared. Oh, no. Okay. No. Okay, so Sean did not last very long in the house. So I am in the house. And I get where he's... Who? My name is Josh. Sean was just in here with you. And you scared him. Seemed like I was up there forever. I know I wasn't, but... I'm telling you, the footsteps upstairs... Holy crap. It was a lot easier at least talking to you guys on the phone. I was still scared to list, but it was a little easier, you know? This bed right behind me... They think that their sister was possessed before she died. Did you do that? Where are you at right now? This is pretty creepy. I'm gonna head upstairs. Because unfortunately, Sean. Watching you. Oh, no way. Watching you. So you can see me. I want to see you. Bang upstairs. Are you upstairs right now? Suffocate. Catherine. Catherine. Who is Catherine? Friend. Friend? When we come in by ourselves, you talk a lot more. Does that make you feel more comfortable? Did somebody... God. God. Do you like God? The other group said that you don't like God. Okay, we're going upstairs. Plus, I don't like staring at all these baby dolls under my feet. Okay, it's just me and you up here right now. It is so freaking creepy up here. 
Catch your breath. What did somebody do up here that was bad and dangerous? When I was downstairs, you were talking. Do you not like coming upstairs? Is there something upstairs that scares you? I think whatever was up here just is not talking. And this room is definitely not as creepy as this other room. We're going to try the creepy room. Where am I? I don't know where you're at. Right now I'm upstairs. I'm crossing over to the creepy ass room. Okay, I'm in the creepy room. Can you talk to me? I told you my name. Can you tell me your name? Healthy. How healthy can you be if you're dead? Seller. Male voice. Are you a family member? Bored. Of course you're bored. Did you have more fun when Sean was in here? And my head. It feels like my head's going to explode. It's like full of pressure. Are you trying to get into my head? Disagree. What do you disagree with? The most Christian. Christian. Here in a little bit, we're going to bless this house. Do not. No way. Yes, we are. And you can't stop us. We can do one or two things. We can help you cross over, hopefully. Or we can drive you out of this house. Those are your two choices. Did somebody summons you, open a doorway that allowed you to come inside this house? Several people have died inside this house. Did I come off too angry and aggressive? I do that because I really care about this family. And I want to help them and I want to see them live in peace. And I think that you try to trick people. Abused. Who was abused? Were you abused? Rituals. Who did a ritual here? Need. I feel like I'm about ready to pass out. You there? You there? Hello. Did you go Hello. up and touch Josh? Josh wants to talk to you. Stop the banging. Michael. 
Josh. Josh. White. White. I am white. Why do I all of a sudden feel like I'm at peace? In my ear. Impressed. It's like throbbing. I can hear like throbbing in my ear. Are you trying to affect me? In front of you. No way. I think whatever's here is trying to trick me. Throat. Throat. It choked somebody up here. Throat. Somebody was choked. It was either right, right in this bedroom or the one downstairs. Did you choke somebody? Cellar. Keep saying cellar. Choked. Choked. Were you choked in the cellar? Tree. Choked tree. Hug. If you come in here with me, I'll give you a hug. Like going from being creeped out and scared to just having like this overwhelming sense of peace. Like everything's going to be okay. Wandering. I'm wondering the same thing. I'm doing this because I love you and I'm hoping you're safe. Hello? Sean was worried about you. Rocky, you want to come in here? Oh, sure. What's that thing? I don't know. It was in the room behind me. Okay, this battery's dead. Whoa! Was that you? Uh, what was that? Is that you that screamed? No, that was you. No, no I didn't scream. That was you. I swear to God, that was not me. I thought you just screamed. No, I swear to God. Yeah, that was loud. Did you just scream? That was like right in this room with me. Okay, well come in here. I will. I'll leave this camera recording on the second floor. I will. I'll leave this. I will. I'll leave this. I'm not gonna. You're gonna take me upstairs. Okay, Rocky's coming in here, so you can talk to him, okay? You ain't making no sense. Oh my gosh. Thank you for setting that off. Okay, Rocky's gonna go upstairs. Do you wanna talk to me? Are you on the bed? If you're on the back, can you set the other alarms off? Can you light them up for us? Those batteries are missing. Electric. Electric. Hi, I'm Boo Buddy. What's your name? You know your alphabet? A, B, C, D. feels a little bit colder. Can you shut that door? Is this your home? 
You miss being alive? We heard that they was uh, some little kids in here. Is there little kids in here? Little bear out there you can go and touch. Sound like something moved. Maybe in the front room or something. Let's go out here by the bed and see if we run a spirit box session. Now in SB7 mode. So, running upstairs. Who's running upstairs? Who's me? Are you stuck in this house? Who's the guy that I just heard that said yes? Can you tell me your name? Did you say Steve was your name? There's a Mel's voice that's coming through. It's real uh, deep. Can you tell me what happened to you? Steve, are you unhappy with the family that's living here? Who keeps showing themselves to the family? Steve, was that you that set that alarm off? Who keeps setting the alarm off on the staircase? Did somebody possess the woman that was in the bed right next to me? Steven. Steven, can you still talk to me? Is that your name, Steven? Yes. There's something moving upstairs. There's a lot of thud. Steven, are you upstairs? If you walk up to the the bear, you can make make it light up. You can talk to the bear. Do you have any brothers or sisters? We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You defend us as we enter into battle, and be our protection against everything wicked and evil. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. We seal this threshold with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any doorways, portals, that may have been open inside this house, we close them and seal them with the blood of Jesus Christ. We command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Negative stuff done inside this house with Ouija boards, we seal this stairwell with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, you must leave this house it is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the holy water that symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ. We cast you out. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. We banish you in the blood of Jesus. We seal this bed with the blood of Jesus. Any family members that are stuck here inside this house, we pray that you move on and be at peace and let this family live at peace. Any spirits or negative energy or demons that were summoned inside this house, we cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now and you must leave. For now and forever sealed, with the blood of Christ. We seal this doorway 
with the blood of Jesus, we sow this threshold with the sign of the cross. This house is forever sealed 